The reality is, is if you believe in something that you should push it as long as it takes for it to work. And that to me, you and I both know from either music we like or music that took a while to take off, you know, there's plenty of examples of labels not seen or whatever, or some weird thing happened and the song takes off. Like Cypress Hill's first album was out months before it blew up. KC and JoJo's All My Life got some Hawaiian DJ loved it and that's what blew that record up. There's so many, Lizzo had been out for years, the songs that ended up making her big and it was in a movie. It wasn't, yeah. you know, there's yes. lots of examples of this type of stuff. DMX was on Rough House Columbia and got dropped and then came back with Def Jam. So, I mean, it's just all kinds of examples that not seeing a vision or not giving it the time or not giving it the creative latitude or whatever. Yeah. So, and yeah, yeah. There are a lot of examples. A lot of those were old examples, though. <laughs> but these uh, cool. these days is, uh, you know, there's still examples these days, but it's a lot different, just the whole approach. Yeah. Um, you know, which is good in, in some ways and bad in, in some ways. Like, I feel like the overabundance of material, um, you know, I don't know. It's a, it's just so much. Anybody with a computer could be an artist. So you have to um, go through, you got to listen to a lot more before you find stuff that it's just too much. Right. Okay. And like, I have problems finding new music. It's just too much. Yeah. And, uh, and one thing too I was always intrigued about was with self-destruction audio two being represented in the video and light obviously rapping on a song but uh did you guys not get asked to be on it did you not want to be on it did you just show up for the video like how did that work they they didn't ask they didn't ask and I was pissed about that but I was like yo like how I... <laughs> you know so they wanted light. They didn't want. They didn't want me. Hmm. So was it awkward for you or strange to go to the video? Or you? I just... didn't go. Well, no. Then, I mean, Giz. Though I mean, the Giz was, was. No, I was like, no, forget that. I'm not going. Hmm. Uh, Y'all don't want me. I guess he was cool with it. He went, but um, that's something that I would have liked to be a part of that I wasn't. Hmm. Because that. Uh... There's several people that I was surprised, given that they've got so many artists on it, that they didn't include. But uh, given that Giz and Light in particular participated, I was always curious as to why you didn't. And and like I said, I was pissed about that. Okay, gotcha. And with with uh, Top Billing and having a big hit, you're doing videos, doing lots of shows and everything... Um, what did you realize that having a hit that's so huge separates you from not only other artists, but how does that affect you personally when maybe people don't know Giz starts bugging as much or don't know Hickey's around my neck as much, but top billing is through the stratosphere. Does that affect you? Does that matter? Did it make a big so difference? So you saying if they call me a one hit wonder, does it bother me? <laughs> no, it's not that. Because I, I mentioned, well, not to me, but maybe other people would, but clearly I know and love a lot of your music. So it's not, I don't look at you like that. I clearly recognize that's your most popular song, but we've talked about 10 songs at 15. Mm -hmm. So that, that doesn't factor into me, but I'm just getting at, do you, the impact of having such a big song, like you say, Blessing and Curse, did it help you guys? way more than it hurt did it ever hurt you guys or i think that i well let me start by saying that i am so grateful for my life and my journey i think that every artist has a different journey and um as much as i would like to you know include other people's journeys in my journey. Like, oh, it'd be nice to have a heavy D 
album or whatever, I'm completely com content with uh with what I have and you know top billing is an amazing an amazing song um i could go on and on and on and the truth is there is no other artist they may have other things but there's no other artist that has a top billing so that's just my journey and that's what it is there's um there's never been another and you know to be i've had conversations with people that explain to me how much impact my song has had on music uh, from the shuffle in the beat to the samples, the most sample hip hop song ever. Like that's, you know, it's not, you know, something else, but it is what it is. And I'm proud and grateful for what it is. Um, also, it makes me feel really good when I run into uh, people that know more than just top bill. And it also makes me feel like, you know, I've I've had an impact. And when and when I see artists like Eminem, you know, thanking, and the, the funny thing about Eminem is um when I heard uh Lose Yourself, I always said, I was like, yo, that's I'm like, oh, he he got that from the questions. And I'll be like, oh, you know, that's the question. And they used to be like, oh, Milk, you know. You you know you fully yourself and I'm like yo I can hear it, but then when I find out how much of a fan he is, I'll be like oh wow so I did have an influence I see that and I'm getting stories from all kinds of artists and stuff that um you know that be like oh when I heard it inspired me and I use this so it's like oh okay I made a mark and I'm and it feels good to be able to contribute in a way that no one else has has done. Mm. Yeah. No, and... But, you know, it is what it is. And I'm glad. Figure, I could... How many artists have careers and it's... Okay, so we're in 2024. That's about 40 years since A Christmas Rhyme, right? Is it 40 or more? 84, 94, 2004, 40 years. So how many hip hop artists have a song that has lasted 40 years, 40 years. <laughs> or a career? Yeah. Yeah. And still, still, you know, I get sample clearances almost every day. Um, you know, it's amazing. And like I said, I'm more than anything, I'm grateful. So I don't look at it as I look at it as a beautiful, wonderful thing. Right. OK. Now, with the I don't care, the album uh, after coming off, what can I say? And it's super innovative and so distinctive and all these different things with I don't care the album. I was interested because that one has so many more songs, too. Uh, what more can I say was pretty short. And like I said, put it to music, for instance, is less than two minutes long. And it's it's all these different things. Why uh, do you remember why with I Don't Care, the album, that it was so much longer, or at least so many more songs? I think we were just creating, being, you know, now we're creating, 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 and we're getting pressure from the label. And I think it was a situation where they just wanted to um, have more options as far as and because, you know, I'm trying to be innovative, I guess more songs just gives them an opportunity to have more of what they would consider to be radio. That That's what they were looking for back in the days. It wasn't even necessarily hits, but songs that they could play on the radio. Um, but I, I just think that we were just being creative and they just want, and, and albums were longer too then. So our first album was considered really short so we were also getting pressure like, oh, an album has to be at least an hour long. Like, what are you doing? The album's only 35 minutes long, you know? So, Which was another thing, by the way, that I used to get criticized for when Top Billing came out. They was like, yo, it's not even three minutes long. How can you have a song? It's not even three minutes long, which is crazy now because now we got two-minute songs. Yeah. But back then, 
a three minute song. They, you know how many shows, even actually, I just did a show not too long ago and they made me do it twice. Like, do it again. Like, it's too short. And I'm like, too short. This is it. That's what it is. Um, so, but times change, right? I remember that. Like, I used to get criticized so much two minutes and 57 seconds. And they'd be like, yo, that's not a real song. It's not even a whole song. It's not even wow. three minutes. Yeah.